all right so it's been a while since i've done one of these like life lesson like vents and the reason why i stopped doing them is is because one of my friends told me something like a while back and they said you know it's very tiring and kind of a waste of time trying to like bring other people to their spiritual awakening it's not something you can do it's kind of something that has to happen on their own will in their own terms you can't really force it out of people but as you can see i'm chilling in low light because i didn't plan on making a video right now earlier i tried recording hours of footage and the audio was corrupt so I was gonna sit here and just talk into my mic for like hours just to see what the heck was wrong with it but I figured while I'm doing this I'm, I might as well do two birds one stone and talk about something that was on my mind earlier that I noticed because earlier I was on Instagram just scrolling and I saw a post by Complex and I just recently started following Complex again I had unfollowed them a while because I started to notice a pattern in their post that I wasn't really a fan of but I started following them again recently and they posted a picture saying happy birthday Cardi B and in case you hadn't seen it it's this picture right here and first glance when I looked at it my first thought was it's a pretty good picture you know she looks good you know nothing really wrong I didn't really analyze it too deeply I just said you know I read the caption it says happy birthday so I was like oh, okay and then I made a mistake I clicked on the comments and y'all know how that goes now what I'm gonna get into right now is something I get into all the time and a lot of my you know big rants or when I try to you know dive deep in some type of message it always goes back to this subject which is empathy it's a very simple thing you don't know what empathy is if you live under a rock and you just and you don't know what that means it's putting yourself in somebody else's shoes you know which a lot of us don't do even me you know i struggle with it sometimes you know i'm not gonna sit here and act like i'm perfect and there's times where i you know judge people but i try my best to catch myself and you know be self-aware and realize what I'm doing but the reason why I bring this up is because I'll show you what some of the comments look like you already know the very first number one liked one is we don't need to acknowledge her birthday we have a vomit emoji or a sick emoji what the hell I don't need to see that bro what the f are those nails in the first pick more sick emojis bringing up the fact that she drugged and robbed men this is embarrassing to real woman the evolution of our species uh it, it, it goes on and, and on and on but i'm gonna just leave this here i'm gonna i'm gonna push that to the side now when it comes to cardi b am i the biggest fan of her no not necessarily do i hate her or do I have anything against her no not necessarily you know I honestly think she's pretty funny she's a she's a character um when she does the very like high-pitched noise and go like sometimes it could be annoying but sometimes it could be very funny and very entertaining and I just look at it as her being her whether I like it or not whether it entertains me or not whether I find it annoying or not it's her being her so I can't really knock somebody for that, you know? I either tune into it or I tune it out. And as far as looks goes, this is where, this is where this conversation, you know, really starts to get, this is the juicy part of the conversation because the same reason why I get on a Cardi B about her looks is the same thing about why I get on people like, you know, the Kardashians. And if you don't know me, you know my, or used to be my issue before I really started to practice empathy was when it comes to women like this they're the ones that kind of push this this is what beauty looks like you know fake this fake that fake this this is what it looks like in order to be accepted and you know be beautiful and then you have so many people who look at that and they think, you know, that is the goal. Due to how successful this person is, due to how much attention they're getting, they think 
okay well that is what people want when they don't realize that that is such a finite like nine times out of ten you can't get that without some type of surgery or some type of enhancements you can't get that by just being born that way you know the genetic lottery is unpredictable so for that for this to be the standard or be what's you know glorified it makes it really unfair to a lot of women that just get the short end of the stick because now they have to really push personality that a lot of people won't really look into unless you really take your time with the person so i used to always get on you know the kardashians and Cardi B like uh like who do these women think they are looking all good and all that it's all fake you know get out of here but Empathy is a strong thing. And I didn't realize this about them until I had a situation with my mom. Because for those of you that don't know, first off, let me go back to my other scene. For those of you that don't know how my mom is or how she shops and buys food, I've showed like videos on my Instagram of her pantry. She has like three freezers two refrigerators she stocks it as if the world is about to end tomorrow and I always tell her like why do you do this <laughs> this is not how a normal person shops this isn't how a normal person like buys food like you realize you're doing too much and you're being extra right and then she kind of tries to tell like you know me and her other kids like how we should shop too in ways and I'm just like no like this isn't normal but my mom had finally said something to me she says well do you want to know why i do that the reason behind me being extra like that she says because i had a problem when i was growing up it was an issue it was that there would be days where their family wouldn't have food and they would have to struggle and think about where the next meal was going to come from so my mom implanted the thought in her mind she says when i get older and i get my own family i'm going to ensure that that never happens again i'm going to permanently fix that problem by like altering my life altering my ways and doing something that others may view as it being unnecessary or extra but i'm gonna do it because they don't understand what it's like to have the problem that I had growing up. You know, we might say, you know, do we need, you know, three packs of ground beef? No, not really. Do we need, you know, 10 bags of chips and a whole pantry filled with Little Debbie snacks and like 10 cartons of juice? No, not really. Does a lot of it go to waste? Yeah. Is it the smart thing to do? Uh, maybe not, but is, is it extra? Yeah, maybe, but is the problem fixed? Yes, because we don't starve. There's not a night where we have that issue she used to have. She fixed it. And I relate that to situations and people like Cardi B or the Kardashians. Because I could easily look at them and be like, well, why do you want to get all this extra stuff onto your body? You know, it's unnecessary. But what if they had a problem or an issue while growing up what if they were always looked at for being ugly or not being up to par to the standard or maybe the generation before them had that issue where the women were looked at as like they didn't get attention because they weren't attractive they always got swept under the rug so what if one woman in that family finally got the idea you know what if I can't get the recognition I deserve, if I can't get the respect, or if people won't listen to me, maybe I need to enhance my body to fix that problem so people can finally look at me and give me some attention. Now, is it the smartest thing to do? I mean, who knows, but does it work? Yes. <laughs> And let me tell you, the funny thing about this is the same people that say all these things like this would be the same people that would say equally negative things if she was unattractive. Which proves the point that this world is such a damned if you do, damned if you don't scenario in a nutshell because if she was successful and had all the eyes on her you know for just making good music but when you looked at her she just looked like 
just something that just wasn't good to look at. I'm pretty sure that would be people would get on that too. Like this, this was really just supposed to be an audio test. I don't know how I ended up ranting about something or going in, but empathy is a strong thing, y'all. Like, so I can tell you right now, do I agree and endorse stuff like this? No, not really. I think it's cool. No, do I have, you know, opinions against it? Yeah, maybe, but am I gonna sit here and really dive deep and critique and analyze somebody? No, because at the end of the day, it doesn't harm me, it doesn't affect me, it doesn't really do anything, you know, and would I raise my daughter like this? No, but for the people that say, well, it does affect my daughter or it does affect us because we have to see it and I don't want my daughter looking up to this person or thinking this is what women should aspire to, then just be a good parent and teach people right from wrong. Is that not hard? I mean, I think we all need good examples and bad examples in life. So we learn from lessons. If you feel this is a bad example, then make it so somebody can learn from it and say, well, look at this. This is what we shouldn't do. Instead of just targeting that person, saying insults to her and getting on her head to a person that's probably not even going to look at your comment or read it, then just tell other people that you might interact with like hey you know she's doing this but i learned from her doing this that i either should or shouldn't do this it's a lesson learned from other people's actions you should try it every now and then and if you don't like something about somebody nobody's asking you to follow that person tune in to what that person is doing and to stay updated it's as simple as just looking the other way but there's so many other things in this world that can garner your attention like there's so many channels about like food nature health fitness fashion so if it really bugs you to see something like this just go find another lane or something else to look at <laughs> why take the time out of your day to click a comment and I don't like this person. This is unacceptable. This is bad. This is this. It's a waste of energy. It's a waste of time. You're gonna realize in life, you're just gonna, when you're on your deathbed, you're gonna realize you got into a lot of unnecessary mundane arguments. And for what? To prove some point, to stroke your ego, whatever it is. Just grow up and get on in life. That's all I got to say.